I've got uh, a length of uh, five millimeter, feels like five millimeter, let me double check that. Uh, five millimeter glass rod that's been fire polished uh, on both ends. And uh, what I'm going to do now is make a series of Marias, uh, which here's a big version of Maria. Uh, which are indentations uh, in the glass, where you push the glass together. Uh, you can also make them on the ends as well, uh, using a slightly different technique. Uh, one of the keys uh, for uh, you know, uh, making your Marias, uh, both my, of my hands have to be rotating together. Uh, if I try and do something like this, uh, it's very easy to twist the glass. So uh, from my experience, both hands rotating together and then pushing and rotating, pushing and rotating uh, to get the uniformity of the Maria uh, as best as possible. Again, I'm gonna be working at a slight angle because of the position of the camera. Uh, so let's see how this goes. So now I'm rotating with both hands I bring the five millimeter glass down into the flame. I can see it start to soften. I'm going to pull back a little bit to slow that process down just because it's five millimeter. It's going pretty quick. I, I dip below the flame. I keep rotating, keep rotating. Now I come above the flame and I'm rotating and I'm pushing. And you can see I've got the start of, of a Maria. Now that's actually a Maria. Uh, it's just a question of do I want to make it bigger, uh, and the answer is yes. Uh, now, I'm going to go back in the flame for a second and rotate and rotate and rotate. I'm not pushing or pulling right now. I'm simply rotating, and the reason why is I got a little bit off-center when I made the, uh, uh, the initial uh, push. So now I go back in, heat it up, rotate, heat it up, rotate, come out, rotate and push, rotate and push. Some people will push uh, and rotate, in other words, they'll make the Maria in the flame, uh, and that's fine uh, when, you're, when you're learning, when you're a beginner, uh, as, as I am. Uh, I would recommend doing what I do of heat it up in the, in, uh, in the flame. If you need to, dip below the flame just for a little bit to help it cool off uh, or to keep, keep the uh, control of it, and then come out, push, rotate, push. And so you can see there is my Maria. I do need, uh, it's fine now, but after I form it, I need to keep rotating because if I let go, it will deform because there's a big uh, gather of glass uh, that is going to stay hot for a while. So now, about a, approximately an inch uh, to the right, I'm going to heat up another area of glass, go back and forth, heat this up, and then as I feel it softening, I come up, push, rotate, push, rotate. Go back in the flame. Again, I'm holding this at a weird angle for the, uh, for the camera. Push and rotate. And now, uh, two things to, to look at. One, uh, alignment. That's without a doubt to me the most critical thing for this, uh, for this drill. You're better off having small Marias that are as, as best aligned as possible rather than having a few really big ones and then it's zigzagging and, and all over the place. Uh, so yeah, your alignment Ideally, when you rotate, there wouldn't be any wobble. There's a little bit of a wobble from my first, uh, uh, first Maria. Uh, I can live with that. Uh, and uh, first, I, well, my, I have my two. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is, to the left, go ahead and make a third Maria. Come up. Heat. Push. And again, when you're first doing this drill, do not focus on trying to make the biggest Maria as possible. 
uh, uh, it's more about control, uh, getting them uniform, but also getting them uh, in alignment. That one's a little small, so I'm going to come back in here and heat that up. And what I'm looking for is the Maria itself to be, uh, or the, uh, the gather of glass that becomes the Maria, uh, for that to be uniformly heated b uh, before I really commit to pressing. Because uh, if it isn't uniformly heated, when I press it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to slide on me. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be off-center when all is said and done. And overall, uh, uh, this, like I said, is, a, is an excellent drill for learning how to... Uh, uh, control the glass and make structures within the glass. Uh, later when we're working with tubing, when you make marias within tubing, those areas can be used, uh, 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 basically when you increase the volume uh, of the glass that way, uh, you're essentially making the uh, in, uh, inner area for a reflux condenser uh, or other type of equipment. So uh, learning how to do this with rod will pay off later when you need to take tubing and compress it and keep everything nice and uniform uh, going forward. Uh, just to uh, show how it can go terribly, terribly wrong. So here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heat up a blob of glass, a gather of glass. Get this good and hot. And then I'm going to stop rotating and I'm just going to try and push. And you can see, I didn't rotate, I just took it and pushed, and despite my best kind of eyeballing blob of glass, a gather of glass, get this good and hot, and then I'm going to stop rotating, and I'm just going to try and push. And you can see, I didn't rotate, I just took it and pushed, and despite my best kind of eyeballing it of what I thought was center, you can see I am way off. So that's why it's very important of rotate, push, rotate push you it's it's one action you don't stop and push uh, which is exactly what I did here and you can see it's not even close